Disclaimer, no house elves were harmed in the making of this video, but their feelings might have been hurt. Yes, we didn't include your favorite elf on this list, but we also avoided the boy who lived. With no Harry Potter showing up on this list, we found a chance to dive more into certain characters' backgrounds and the fan perspective. This list is like nothing we've made for the franchise. Just know it's okay to disagree with an entry. These are only general opinions from fans. Disliked, Ron Weasley. I'm Ron, by the way. From Weasley. All right, breathe, Weasley fans. Remember the last thing we said before this entry? There are some of you out there that love Ron Weasley with all your heart. We respect that, and it's understandable. Just know that the bingers discovered the fandom doesn't agree in general. If it makes you feel better, he was right on the line. I have to admit, I thought I was going to miss that last one. The feelings began to stir when the Goblet of Fire was released. Suddenly, Ron's chronic jealousy reared its ugly head and caused a wave of fan reactions. To fans of the book, the moment appears to pass away rather quickly. The same can't be said for film fans. Ron's occasional disregard for the other two members of the trio gets highlighted more. Ron isn't actually selfish and lazy, he just seems that way in the movies, because we're getting less of the story. The whole fiasco in Deathly Hallows was a dark moment for the character in both the book and the film, though. It was the straw that broke the camel's back for most fans and put him in the doghouse forever. He's the best of the disliked. What the bloody hell was that all about? Beloved, Sirius Black. Think back to your first experience reading or watching Prisoner of Azkaban. You were taught to hate Sirius Black. He was the horror lurking in the shadows and the dark spot on the entire school year. In fact, it was the first book without a heavy dose of Voldemort. All eyes were on this mysterious figure from Harry's past. Then we actually meet Sirius Black and discover the truth about his life and misfortunes. If you didn't love Black after that, then we don't know what to say. He becomes the closest thing to a family Harry's ever experienced. He makes promises that he aims to keep, and we're left wondering what could have been. Did you know J.K. Rowling cried while writing that now infamous chapter? She literally cried over the loss of her own fictional character. If that doesn't speak to his profound impact, then what does? Sirius was only 22 when he was sent to Azkaban. Imagine a life in the worst prison on Earth when you're barely an adult. We all love Sirius because we know he's broken enough to understand Harry. Disliked, Dolores Umbridge. Raise your hand if you like Dolores Umbridge as a character. Uh, we can't actually see any of you through the screen, but we are going to assume that nobody's raising their hand. Which doesn't surprise us at all. It takes a lot of searching to find the Umbridge stands hiding in the deepest corners of the internet. They all say Umbridge acts the way she does because of the horcrux around her neck. We disagree with all of you on this claim. The author herself even said she based the teacher on a real-life instructor that she hated during her school years. Umbridge wasn't written to show off the corrupting nature of a horcrux. She was just a terrible lady. Do we even need to mention the terrible punishments she inflicted on the Hogwarts students? Easily the worst part of Umbridge is her character design. Apparently, it was all intentional. Rowling has said that she finds the people into fluffy kittens and twee clothing conversely hold the most sinister outlooks on life. Umbridge proves that theory in spades, and it made her such a memorable character. Disliked, Albus Dumbledore. We all loved Dumbledore for a while. He was the one figure at the school that seemed completely on Harry's side. No matter the trouble and no matter the foolishness, Dumbledore was there to help. In a lot of ways, the headmaster is the reason the trio found faith in their abilities. Of course, there's a reason we tossed him in the disliked column. Sure, we all pick on him for the whole Dumbledore asked calmly scene, but there's more. There's an entire backstory of missteps and misunderstandings. Let's keep it focused on the Harry Potter series, though, for the sake of brevity. We find the fact he's so vague in the books to be endearing at first. He's the old sage pushing Harry to learn. By the time we get to Deathly Hallows, though, the vague lessons get old. It was just a way of manipulating Harry into being a puppet. Dumbledore lived a life linked to a dark wizard, too. You think he'd consider that and help Harry through it? Beloved, Luna Lovegood. The Harry Potter books were always for the dreamers of the world. You'd pick up the books and be lifted off your feet into this magical world away from reality. You didn't feel like an outcast when you read Harry Potter. There was always a character for you to relate with. However, no character showed what it was like to be an outcast quite like Luna Lovegood. 
Luna doesn't mind being seen as the weirdo. Even in the magic world, her views are seen as far out there for some people. You'd think it would make her feel misplaced amongst this memorable cast of characters, but it's the exact opposite. Many fans knew what it was like to be Luna, believing in something more than what's in front of our eyes. What's more, she proved to be one of the only students at Hogwarts that understood Harry's feelings of tragedy and displacement. It never felt weird that Luna and Harry would relate to each other so much. She listened to Harry and gave him wisdom back. She's the oddball that we will enjoy forever and ever. Disliked Severus Snape Oh boy, things are getting controversial on this list now. Snape was actually voted as fans' favorite character back in a 2011 poll, but we're not buying it. Don't misunderstand us. There's certainly a passionate collection of Snape stands out there, but he's generally disliked overall. Which is actually the entire point of his character. We aren't meant to like Snape at any point during the first six books. Mac, even most of the seventh book is Snape being a dark and twisted headmaster at Hogwarts. Okay, so he stayed loyal to Dumbledore that entire time, but at what cost? Not to mention the whole reason he did it in the first place. Everything good in his life came out of his love for Lily. He certainly redeems himself in the final moments of Deathly Hallows. Still, redemption can only come when you fall into a low place. You're supposed to dislike Snape for the entire series. He's a significant side villain in every book until he finally pushes to full-on evil and Half-Blood Prince. We can't ignore the truth. Snape was hated before the end. Beloved, Minerva McGonagall. It breaks our hearts any time we have to say something terrible about Professor McGonagall. Silence! Luckily, we don't need to do that for this entry. Maggie Smith is a treasure, and so is her character Minerva McGonagall. We're finding it hard to express everything we love about her character because we're so overwhelmed with joy. Well, we're gonna try our best, though, for McGonagall. One thing we love about her is the fact she tells it like it is. You'll remember our critique that she's a bit too strict, but with that comes a real brutal honesty. She doesn't sugarcoat things for her students and expects the best from her students in Gryffindor. We live for her witty comebacks and sass. She's the Lady Umbridge wishes she could be to the students. Not only this, but McGonagall is one of the first real parental figures in Harry's life. She handles his disruptions and growing pains in stride and with care. Some writers have compared her to the fairy godmother, and it's actually not that far off. She certainly helps us buy into the fantastic wonderment of magic. Beloved, Cho Chang. We're pretty sure up to this point you've mostly agreed with who's in the beloved category. After all, most Harry Potter fans love just about every good character in the series. However, Cho Chang may be where the descent begins. <sighs> we can see the comment section now. Everyone's totally going to come to bat for Cho Chang, right? Of course not, but the majority of fans silently like her character. Cho's relationship with Harry is swept under the rug in the movies. All we see is her betray the DA and spoil a fantastic secret club. In the books, it's not even Cho who spills the beans, but her friend. Cho stays loyal to her friend, and it causes a split between her and Harry. The film doesn't even show him on any dates. Fans of the character know that Cho was complex. Her reserved persona makes sense given her relationship with Cedric and that tragedy. Also, she and Harry are supposed to be awkward together. They're teenagers for crying out loud. Context really makes Cho a much more likable character. Disliked Ginny Weasley Consider this. Dolores Umbridge only has around uh, 16 minutes of screen time in the entire series, yet she's considered to be one of the greatest villains in the whole series. Luna Lovegood only gets about 17 minutes of screen time, yet many fans wish she ended up with Harry or Neville. Ginny Weasley has a little over 30 minutes of screen time, yet everyone claims she's barely in the films. That's more time than Neville Longbottom got. All that time and we still think she didn't even make an impact. That says a lot about Ginny Weasley as a character. She's supposed to be reserved, a tad awkward, and the books illustrate that point well. The films just completely drop the ball. Clearly, she was given chances to make an impact on the screen, but no one ever buys the character. It sounds like we're picking on the filmmakers here, but it's the same story in the books. She's just such a safe love interest for Harry. None of his interactions with her lead us to believe that they're perfect for each other. Sorry, but that's the truth. Beloved. Hermione Granger. 
Harry Potter may be the main character, but Hermione Granger was the most relatable character for most readers. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Her parents were both dentists and muggles, but she turned out to be a witch. It's the dream we all had as we read the books at a young age. Maybe we were like Hermione and just hadn't discovered our powers quite yet. She was our hope. Plus, Hermione is considered an avid reader, and she was openly self-conscious about her looks. Anyone reading Harry Potter as a kid was also an avid reader, and let's face it, every teenager is worried about their looks. We all grew with Hermione. Her passion for magic and learning was a comfort to us. Hermione told us it was okay to be smart and nerdy because people will grow to respect you. Not to mention, she's a total badass. She didn't even know about the wizarding world until she was 11. She sure caught up quickly. Basically, Hermione Granger alone proves that Salazar Slytherin was wrong about muggle-born wizards and witches. Way to show him, Miss Granger. You're the real hero. Do you disagree with our entries? Share your Harry Potter thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to show your support for the binger.